All right, a very quick uh, crash course introduction to uh, using our Google at UH, specifically the Google Drive for our project. Um, number of ways to get there, one is through your My UH tab, but I always prefer to get there through the other way. So just uh, Google, Google at UH, and that'll take you to our uh, hawaii.edu Google site, and then click on Drive or your mail or your calendar, but we're going to use Drive. And then log in using your UH ID. Good. So this is me. I've made this thing here called Google Drive Demo. And a very quick way of uh, showing you guys how to do this, right? So if you want to change the name of your file, just click on that. And then you can put, let's call this demo number one. Yeah, good. Because that's what I want to call it. Uh, and then it's a regular Word document, right? So then you just type whatever you want. Oops. And then if I put, let's say, E. coli, and I need to italicize it. It's like full on formatting things on here. Lots of things you can do. You can make numbers. You can make lists, right? So I think most of us are familiar with word processing. So it's all there. Um, it's a pretty full program in terms of everything you want to be able to do. Uh, but the real power of Google Drive is that uh, it has this ability to not only share but collaborate, right? So if you want to share, a couple of ways to do this. One is to click on the share button here, right? And you can then invite people. So I'm going to invite my, my other Gmail account. And then you can notify them by message if you want. You can add a little message. All right. Or you can just choose not to notify people by email, which is what I'm going to do. So whatever you want. Um, however you feel like doing it, right? So now when I put the share and save, I skip that. Yeah, yeah. There, now this person is able to edit, and you can change that actually. You can make them the owner. You can have them just comment, but not edit. You can have them view, but not edit or comment, that kind of stuff, right? But we're gonna leave it on edit, because remember, we wanna share and collaborate. We'd like people to be able to edit. Uh, the other way to share is just go to file, and then click on share. And then you get to the same page, right? So whatever you're comfortable. It doesn't really matter. So now, uh, when I uh, work for my other computer um, or my other user, they will see exactly what I've just written, right? So um, when I type up something, let's say this is what I want to submit, now I can email everybody and I can just go to file and then email my collaborators and send an email to, out to everyone saying, uh, first draft is done, have a read over. Or, my section is complete, add yours, and then send it out if you want to, right, to all my collaborators, or and you can even choose which one you want, if you want to send it just to one or two. Um, now I'm going to go to my other computer, which is the other half of my office, and you will see how we can collaborate. So here I am on my computer. And here is my demo. So now, notice how I'm starting to add now. Notice that as I add it, it went in essentially real time, right? So you can have two people actually working on this together, commenting while you're doing this. Or you can have two people working on it at separate times, right? So one person can work and do one part, other person can do the other part. But the real power is that it's one document that you're sharing. And you know, in the old days, quote unquote, uh, we used to send around one Word document that we emailed to everybody. Sometimes, as you have multiple Word documents circulating, you're not really sure what the final draft is, what draft two and what draft three is, all that kind of stuff, right? Whereas within Google Drive, it's just one draft. That's all. all right? So you're always working on the same draft, and at the end of it all, then we say, okay, this is perfect, great job collaborators, we can now submit this. All right? So this is the best way to share. And the uh, uh, beauty of using Google Drive is that everyone in the UH system has access to Google Drive, so you don't need to make a Gmail account, right? When you share, just add your hawaii.edu emails, and then everyone has access to that through the Google at UH system. 
Uh, finally, when you're ready to submit and share, all you do is you click on File, and then you publish to the web. And then uh, a couple ways to do this. If you want people to sign in every time to look at it, just click on that, but don't click on that. It's kind of irritating. And then uh, also automatically republish when changes are made. So let's say you publish something, and then you say, oh, shoot, I forgot to add this one section. Then you can go make a change, and then when you make a change, it's going to automatically change your um, change to what you've published. Right? And once you're ready, just click on Start Publishing. And it's, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. And then what you're going to get is a link. And then eventually, we're going to take that link, and we're going to share this with the class by posting it on the discussion board. Right? But we'll get there when we get there. Uh, for now, start your Google Drive a document and um, get working. Right? One thing I wanted to say. When you are the owner of your Google Drive, it will show up in My Drive. When you share it with somebody, it goes in shared with me, right? So sometimes when you get, um, when you, uh, someone shares something with you and you log into your Google Drive and you don't see it, just try click on Shared With Me, and then whatever was shared with you will show up, right? So these are uh, Google documents that people have started and then shared with me. So they don't actually end up in My Drive. So if you can't see it, just click on Shared With Me and then it should be there for you. Okay, have a great time. Any questions, let me know.